North Carolina is lagging in response to the 2020 census. There are counties here in the east with less than a 48% response rate. That includes Carteret County. None of your sides, Camila Barco, is explaining how putting 10 minutes into completing a form can make a difference for a decade. Carteret County's response rate puts it in the bottom 10 counties in the state. Officials say that means Carteret is in jeopardy of missing out on millions of dollars. We really need people to get out and fill out their census. It's the same old message town leaders have been echoing, but it hasn't been heard in Carteret County. Only 44% of people in the county have been counted in the 2020 census. We have put it in our water bills to ask people to get out and do it. I mean, we're stuffing, we're stuffing the envelopes. Newport's mayor says the 56% not responding could make or break a business decision on whether to move here. We'd like another restaurant here and maybe a McDonald's or Burger King that we've missed out on for so many years. So really it's a driving factor for businesses. Um, they really rely on that data quite a bit. That's Cedar Point's town administrator. So far, his town has a 46% response rate below the state's average. He attributes that to second homeowners. So if they live somewhere else full time, they may not be filling one out here. It's a challenge for coastal communities like Cape Carteret. Its response rate is at 70%, but the town's mayor still stresses how your tax dollars will go to places where people are completing the forms. Other states will be vying and getting the money that we should be getting. That means less federal money for roads and schools and less representation in Congress. You know, the census also determines how many seats you have you know, when it comes to the Congress and the Senate. If you don't have a computer, you can also call in for help completing the census. We'll have that number for you at WNCT.com. I'm Camila Barco reporting for Nine on Your Side.